the toad-headed Agama, is specialized in making his living on the rolling sand dunes of the desert. Every morning he basks in the sun. It's vital if he wants enough energy to hunt. But there's no cover on the dunes. He's exposed. And even his perfect camouflage can't protect him from eyes in the skies. The eagle has impeccable vision. It's capable of spotting a desert hare from three kilometers away. Luckily, the Agama has a disappearing act. Fast vibrations, the so-called shimmy burial, throws up enough grains of sand to cover his body. For the little lizard, it's dangerous to be out in the open. But the biggest of the Agamids seems a lot less concerned as he begins his day. At 70 centimeters long, the dub is the armored tank of the Agamid world. He spent the night in a den underground and now joins the sunbathers. His body is armored with tightly packed scales made of keratin, like fingernails. Some are even further reinforced by bony structures called osteoderms. Reptiles were the first animals to develop scaly skin. This breakthrough gave them an evolutionary edge. It made them waterproof, meaning they could be the first large creatures to live on land. Keeping water out is as important as keeping water in. Even Arabia's sun doesn't dry them out. The dub has a variety of scale shapes and sizes, including spiny bands on its tail that provide even more protection, something it might need. This is a monitor lizard close cousin of the infamous Komodo dragon and the undisputed king of the sand dunes. At up to 1.3 meters long, it's the largest and most aggressive lizard in Arabia. But during early mornings, while the sun's still weak, all reptiles are taking things slow. 